Once the mask is on and connected to the circuit, ongoing adjustments may be necessary to manage the leak due to changes in patient position or settings on the ventilator. And keep in mind, the mask fit doesn't need to be airtight to deliver effective NIV. In fact, over-tightening may actually create a larger leak by defeating the self-sealing design of the cushion. Leaks around the nose and eyes should be addressed using the frame slider, which adjusts inward to tighten or outward to loosen. During non-invasive ventilation, it is recommended that you have a patient leak. And this leak should occur at the bottom of the mask near the chin. Leaks around the chin area at the bottom of the mask should be addressed by adjusting the tension of the lower straps. Leaks at the sides of the mask may be addressed by adjusting the mask angle using the ball and socket or lower straps, but high leaks in this area may be best addressed using the under-the-nose cushion. If leaks are seemingly unmanageable through angle or tension adjustment, the mask should be reassessed or resized.